Hello, I'm Noel Cheer. ...to bring you news of an alien invasion on our planet. A few moments ago, uh, our Earth was invaded by supernatural beings from outer space. We go now to our reporter Ethan Adams in Wellington, where alien spacecrafts have landed near the Houses of Parliament. What can you tell us, Ethan Adams? Thanks, Taylor. I'm Ethan Adams, and I'm here in Wellington. Oh my god, and there's just so much going on. I am absolutely peeking out right now. I have no clue what is... I would tell you what was going on if I knew, but there's just so much action here. There's, is it a bunny? That's not a bunny. If, if I... Uh, uh, I'm absolutely panicking. This is just... Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 everything... Oh my god. Uh, don't come to Wellington. This is the worst place to be right now. It is. Truly, I think this might be the end of the world. <laughs> we appear to have lost the transmission. And now an E News exclusive, an alien representative has taken over our television studio to talk us through their issues and demands with the people on Earth. Standing by in studio is Josh. Now Josh, what's happening out there? Well, yes, this terrifying alien creature said, give us your studio or else. So we said, okay, I, s I can say it's very tense here as these superhuman beings decide the fate of the human race. What can we tell you Th is that cr these creatures smell really awful and a mix like a mixture of Rotorua and blue cheese and they look uh, quite scary. Ah, uh, it looks like one of the aliens is about to address us through a special translation device. Alien. Please listen carefully. We, the superior beings of the planet Hidleywink from the galaxy Marshmallow Pop, demand from you, puny humans, the following things in no particular order. We want all of your marmite, all of it. And we want your rose ruining mud. We, and we want your weed plants. We want all of your weed plants, everything. You're not allowed anymore. If you do not give us these things, as soon as possible, we will destroy you with our jelly guns. You have three days, that is all. Go, we have it. Now know what these aliens want from us. Are these demands reasonable? Is this the end of the human race? We'd like to hear your opinion. What does this terrifying event mean to you? Have you had a close encounter with an alien being? Email us at www.alienemergency, all one word, .org. And now, the New Zealand government is preparing to make a statement. Officials are saying that the aliens landed here because New Zealand is the first country on Earth to greet the sun each morning. Meanwhile, the rest of the world is watching and waiting to see what happens. The way, the way events unfold here in New Zealand will have a big impact on the entire planet. So, which, so with such pressure on their shoulders, the New Zealand Prime Minister is about to greet the media on location on the steps of the Beehive. Is, oh. <coughs> Thanks, Taylor. Uh, <laughs> uh, just uh, as you can see, there are people pretty unaware of um, the invasion. Just coming back from work and uh, kind of coming back from the bars, and uh, here with me now is the Prime Minister, ready to address the nation. Kia ora. Uh, uh, testing, testing. Tina Koto Katoa, people of New Zealand. This is your Prime Minister asking each and every one of you to remain calm. It is very important that we do our best to make these powerful aliens welcome and display 
all the friendly, welcoming qualities that define us as New Zealanders. We will be holding a poor witty fitty <laughs> later today. Then I will join the aliens on a helicopter tour of our beautiful country by showing off our beautiful, clean Greenland. Hopefully, these things will spare New Zealand from destruction and move to Australia. A government helpline has been set up to help in case you come across one of these alien beings. The best thing to do is to hold your breath, smile, and then quickly run away. In the meantime, go about your business as usual. The buses will still run, the rubbish will be picked up, the economy will not wait for no one. That's all. Thank you, Prime Minister, for those words of wisdom, which were bound to stop people rioting, looting, and panicking. Well, we have already had something interesting feedback from our viewers who have some pretty strong opinions, most of them against the alien invasion. Bob from Thanamutu wrote in and said, You like these aliens, the aliens invaders. They sure know how to organize an invasion. I, for one, am impressed by their non-nonsense their non attitude, while Sue and Tauranga left a voice message that said, We shouldn't be afraid to fight those creatures. They're nothing but a bunch of... Uh, oh no, here they come. They're outside my window now. And then it just trails off into screams. Thanks for those thoughts, and keep them coming. And now we go to our interviewer, who is, claims he also has had a close encounter with one of the creatures from outer space. Our reporter Nikita is with that person now. Hello, New Zealand. Today we are joined by Henry, Helga and Harry, who have all been abducted by aliens. Now tell me, Henry, what, what were the aliens like? Oh, well, I see. Now, tell me, Helga, how has it affected your life? In Soviet Russia, we drink vodka day and night, so no effect. Oh, right. Okay. Now, Harry, what do you think we should be doing about this? Well, I think at first we should build a giant laser gun so we can just kill anything that comes to Earth. Well, thank you, Harry, Helga and Henry. Now, back to you in the studio. Now, my question is, where from here? How do we know about these aliens being, and can we afford to have them? And where is the safest place for me to go and hide after the show? To help us answer these rather tricky questions, we have a panel of alien experts in the studio to discuss what you at home can do about this alien invasion, and what you can do to stay safe. Introducing Jesus, a cat lady, and a military expert named Frederick. Can you hear them? What, what are they doing to do? Is mobilize the New Zealand army and arm everybody to battle the aliens. Strike them head on. Obviously you're wrong because we should build an army of cats. Foolish. Obviously you two are both wrong. What we need to do is pray to the gods, my father, God upstairs. Oh, we need to attack them. Yeah. Get out of here! Your point is nothing! We need to attack them head on! This is foolish behaviour. We need to pray to the gods. Nine. Upstairs. Nine. We need to pray to the Rubbish! Rubbish! We need to attack the aliens head on! Everybody, get your weapons and attack them! Back to you in the studio. Well, thanks so much for the opinion on the experts. And are they right? Who can tell? I guess we'll find out soon enough. In the meantime, let's have a look at the havoc and mayhem that is happening up and down the country. With Drizzle, what's been happening? Rizzo. <laughs> Thanks, Taylor. Let's have a look 
at what's happening out there. Starting in the far north, there are reports of the alien creatures chasing sheep around paddocks. Downtown Kataya has been overrun by frightened flocks. In Auckland, there is outrage as the aliens try to knock over the Sky Tower and use it as a space antenna for their ships. Keep away from the downtown area. Aliens have been seen swimming in the boiling mud pools of Rotorua. Locals say they are very rude tourists but are unaware of any unusual smell. In Hawke's Bay, invaders have been seen guzzling wine and passing out amongst the vines. Beware of where toxic alien vomit. The Wellington railway and bus stations have become an alien transit lounge where they can relax after a long space flight and refresh themselves in preparation for killing us all. There may be delays to train and bus services. In the south, people in Kaikoura have approached the local whale population for support, hoping that their size and intelligence could save us all. Progress has been slow <laughs> due to a language barrier. Meanwhile, confusion in Canterbury where aliens are working with the region's cow community seeking an alliance since just like them, cows have four stomachs. Nothing has been announced so far. Finally, in Dunedin, creatures have been spotted at the Spates Beer Factory and the Cadbury Chocolate Factory. The aliens are said to be extremely unstable and should not be approached. Well, I'm going to hide in my basement, so back to you, Chuck and Taylor. How are you going to spend your last days? Thanks, Drizzle. I'm going to go home to my mum. And I'm going to hide under the stairs. Meanwhile, stay tuned for updates and live reports as they come in. If you would like to keep up with our probable demise on our webcam, just log on to our webpage and click on TV Studio forward slash OMG Aliens. Goodbye, everybody. May these terrible and strange and foul smelling aliens have mercy on us all. From the whole team at Jab to the Throat News.